So this saga here with the Josh Powell, it, it, it has such a, a funny twist that, you know, you know the story, he burnt his kids and himself um, alive with a social worker watching on. And then um, they want to bury them in the same cemetery and it's a big no-no, it's a big uh, faux pas. And so they're going to bury them separate. Now, um, I, this thing is becoming very bizarre. I mean, when people are dead, why live, the living have to come in and, and, and corrupt things, you know? We corrupt people's marriages, we tell them this, we hate this, the relationships they have and so on. And here we have it here that uh, they're all dead and um, they can't be buried the same place because they can fight. <laughs> they can fight in hell or something. Um, you recall the social work and the court and everybody. You know, this guy shouldn't have had the kids, but here he's white and um, maybe, you know, middle class, whatever. And so they, you know, believed him. And uh, even though people knew that he was evil, they still allowed him to kill the kids. And um, I don't know if they're going to have a Josh Powell law uh, or whatever, but, you know, these white folks want to do dumb stuff. They end up coming have a law name out to prevent this again. And um, we have to keep laws out then because there are all kinds of stuff people doing and uh, being sort of negligent and incompetent in and so forth. Um, I think it's a stinging rebuke to the court, the family court, and uh, the social services agencies, these home societies for the kids and so on. And, and you know, I don't understand how people just be falling in love and they're so inseparable and then they end up fighting and then they hate each other to that level. It's like, you know, I mean, it's like, why? And, and a lot of it has to do with um, sort of they start having relationships since before they could even walk. The two of them were born on the same day in the same hospital and from the same community. They have birthday parties, start kissing together, and the thing that they've made to each other. You know, right, this comes in a variety of ways. They start having sex early, and they feel like this and that. And what happens usually is that they haven't had a chance to be, you know, to develop their personalities. Um, they, they, they've merged so early that um, they, they, I mean, it's like homeschooling. They didn't have a chance to meet a whole bunch of other people and talk with people and to find out different things with people just, you know, a part of the growing up. I mean, you see it all the time here, these elementary school kids, because they have puberty on them. Um, they hook up together and they, they, they think in terms of we're going to be married and we live happily ever. And, and yes, there's some people live 50, 60, 70 years together and, and this is how it happened. But the majority of them, it doesn't matter if you're born together in the same day, they still each, hate each other like crazy. Um, you know, it, it's so wrong because they can't be separated for a little bit. They, they will die. And then, whoops, the guy joined the military and he's going out for years on the end and all that, and as soon as he stepped out, she needs us kind of, you know, um, to work with somebody, and it's like, you know, you know, I mean, like, I don't want to get into that, but you know how it goes, right? So I think some way, some lo uh, along the line, some way these people had developed some things that come to get them right now, that got them. And I still believe that if two people separate, uh, the kids should be friends to everybody. I mean, I don't think that uh, I would want to have the kids uh, from the woman except that she's in a relationship now and the person doesn't want them and treats them bad and so on, then we could work something else. But I don't think I'm capable or competent. I won't say that I'm a specialist in rearing kids and I would want to have the kids for me. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a tall one, especially if you have some girls in there. Um, I don't know women enough to instruct them. You know what I mean? You have to have a woman around for if you have girls then. And if she is a, a woman, and as a woman, she would want to have a man around so the kids could have a male, you know, sort of role model or, or I shouldn't say role model, but to learn the man's ways. But the father's there, I guess the mother's there too. But, you know, the boys are different because they could come by the father, they could go out and, and hook up with neighbors and all that stuff. The girls are different. They can't go out by neighbors and hooking up with them and the brothers, they, the father, they want to do them stuff and so on. So uh, they, should, they should work together. They don't have to make the kids suffer. But here it is that, you know, he kills all the kids and um, she's like, yes, I'm going to really get her, make her unhappy. It's like, you know, just just be happy, man. You know, just wish the kids well and, and do your part. I mean, if it takes all your money for support and so forth, these are your kids. Give them, you know, what they need and, and get the next job, work on the table, whatever, so you could keep some more of your money and etc. But uh, I think this was so horrible that he had to, you know, 
kill these kids like that, but I think this continuing drama, they don't want them bury the same buried ground, that's just a waste of time, that's a non-issue, because they don't even know after they lost consciousness, that's the end of it until Christ returns. So all these games, oh, we can't bury the same buried ground, these kids going to be rolling over in the grave and all this stuff, like, no, man, it's just we trying to um, sort of project our evil intents now on dead people, <laughs> you know? So, uh, it's a tragedy that happened, but you got to blame those folks that made the decisions like that. On the other hand, too, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, what gives them these character flaws, man, that they got to hate people like that? I mean, you know, your worst enemy, it, it takes a lot of energy in your life to hate somebody. Just ignore them and just wish them well and just go on, you know what I mean? Uh, and on the other hand, I mean, why would I say, I need this wife, if I don't get her, I'll die. Oh, Lord, man, there are a lot of women out there, bro. I mean, it's like, there are other men out there, what's up? Uh, yeah, oh, we had some good things going. Start something good, this person will be different. Don't expect it's going to be the same with this person. Just go with the flow, learn new things, learn new people, and just move on, man. But as I said, it could be that they, they were stuck in, 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 in childhood with relationships, and they had a chance to develop the personality of, you know, like, um, I, I started this, you know, looking for your serious, maybe when I was in the 20s. So I found ways to be with myself and to enjoy my own company and, and, and the ladies' companies and all that stuff and, and I had some ideas of what I wanted. No, my marriages didn't work, but it still doesn't mean that I can't find somebody on the road to, you know, you have a happy evening or something. I mean, it's like, I got to have that woman because she was made for me and all that, but she don't like me, I'm going to kill her and that man, you know, you got I go home and I meet she and the boy working out. I say, well, you know, baby, look, man, um, don't worry about it. Chill out, man. I'm not upset. You like this guy more than me? No problem. You know, I'll be gone just now. Let me just get some stuff here. You could keep the house and, and the money and everything. I, I, you know, you know, give me a call sometimes. Let me know what the kid's doing. But, you know, just be happy, baby. And just move on. Say, bye-bye, wife. Hello, sweetie over there. I write to again in something. I'm wasting time, you know what I mean?